to the initial condition of high cross product to angular velocity. I love the complexity of math. I always have equations in mind when I breathe or sleep, dream. My head is always filled with equations. My name is Deepna and this is my story. I grew up in a very small town called Uti. The name for Uti is Queen of Hills. In rural areas, girls don't have equal opportunities as men do have. But I was fascinated about math from a very young age. Have you heard of ISRO? Yes, exactly. Indian Space Research Organization. What do, what do they do? I love everything about mathematics, from zero to infinity, everything. The moon is very, very far. It's some three lakh eighty four thousand kilometers. I've always wanted to use my learnings from mathematics to work in aerospace and space science. Math, when mixed with science, that is beautiful. Why do stars twinkle? And what will happen to us if we go beyond Earth? One day we'll go to moon, like that we used to tell my sister and me. For me, it was very far-fetched to think I get to fly on the space shuttle because I lived in India in a very small town. And Kalpana Chawla was uh, the one who inspired me. My folks were going to let me go to the engineering college. She lost her life when they were landing back to Earth from their mission. Um, so that was a very touching moment for everybody in India. Because she was an Indian girl, that broke the barrier in my mind that I shouldn't uh, believe being a girl, I cannot do things like that. She inspired me to enter the field, what I like. Oh, when I was doing my master's, we were just two to three girls. And whole of the class would be filled with boys. I was the only girl who used to sit in the first desk and take notes. But I didn't get an opportunity to prove myself. I used to think how much ever I read, how much ever I do, is not enough. People used to say, you're a girl, you can sit at home and relax. I lost all my confidence what I had. So I was very upset during that period of time. I nearly gave up. I was very fortunate to have such a family who were constantly supported me. I think my dad was the one who supported me most. He was always saying, a girl can do what a boy can do. That kept me trying continuously for what I want. I worked so hard and I did a lot of late night studies. At last, I got the opportunity to prove myself. Today, I'm working with Team Indus on a lunar landing mission. This was what I dreamed since my school days. Finally, you get this transition matrix. I'm working for the flight dynamics team. We are responsible for controlling the spacecraft from the point it gets separated from the launch vehicle till the touchdown. For example, if you're lost in space, how do you find the orientation of the spacecraft? Completely math. What we're doing is completely math. It's 
so we would design controller even for the pan tilt mechanism team indus is letting me do what i love to do this is my dream project india's changing what i've come through and what i've been through is proof now there are women who are doing extremely good in different fields like science space as days go by there'll be equal number of men and women so today i'm going to explain the normal mode where we are using both uh, the star sensor and the gyroscope information i would be happy if i can inspire people inspire girls land to the moon to move on the surface of the moon if you are passionate follow your dreams anything is possible yeah it's a very good star sensor when you do what you want to when you do what you love to do that is very beautiful